to our graduating class of 2020, congratulations. Hello, my name is Joy Lind and I serve as the Vice President of Academic Affairs here at the University of Sioux Falls. How I wish we could all be together in one place to celebrate you and your achievement. I know from firsthand experience how much your professors wish that they could be with you to officially send you off as you graduate. Instead, we find ourselves in this unprecedented time in the history of our nation, community, and university, literally scattered across the globe on this, our graduation day. This past semester has been characterized by tremendous change, and now you are embarking upon yet another transition as you begin this next stage of your life's journey. I hope you know how much your professors have treasured the time they've had to get to know you as students here at the University of Sioux Falls, and how much they have missed those opportunities this spring. On their behalf, I am asking that you stay connected with them and with the university after you graduate. Each of you has a bright future ahead of you, and we look forward to hearing about your story as it unfolds. But for now, we take this moment to focus on the present and the significance of your achievement at completing your degree. Congratulations again. Greetings. On behalf of the entire University of Sioux Falls community, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to extend our heartfelt greetings to our class of 2020, including all of your family and friends, to our first ever and hopefully our last virtual commencement ceremony. For our university community, the commencement event always represents a time of great celebration that is full of energy as we have the honor to gather with our students and their families to commemorate a great achievement in life, that being graduation. Over this many years at the University of Sioux Falls, I've had the great honor to stand in front of that great crowd and gaze out into the great pavilion downtown Sioux Falls and see families and friends anxiously awaiting for this great event to begin. Today it is admittedly a bit eerie and surreal standing here with no one present, yet we strive to persevere through a difficult time in our history, keeping that which is most important directly in front of us. You know, the term commencement in higher education is always representative of getting your diplomas and celebrating with family, but in its purest terms, it's about new beginnings and the idea of that when you graduate, you have a new beginning to go out into the world to serve God and humankind, just like our mission expresses. No matter whether you are one of our 342 undergraduate degree recipients this year, or the 161 graduate recipients, this accomplishment is something that should never be taken for granted. Neither can anyone ever take it from you. And by the way, 503 graduating this year represents an all-time record of graduates in the history of our university, and we are so proud of that. Typically, the last few months of any academic year is a whirlwind of special award ceremonies, pinning ceremonies, final tests and projects, goodbyes, job hunts, licensure exams in select fields, and a host of other activities, sometimes not lending itself very well to simply taking a moment to reflect on a great life-transforming experience. However, as I stand here today recording our virtual ceremony, I'd be remiss not to acknowledge that I know we have collective disappointment of not being able to gather in person as faith community due to the pandemic. Added to that disappointment, I've had many communications and meetings and know that the emotions of our families and students mirrors that of our great nation as we acknowledge the anxieties of a serious and invisible threat to our personal health and well-being, economic crisis spurred on by loss of jobs and income due to the pandemic, a general feeling of losing great opportunities in life, such as graduating, or perhaps, sadly, even the loss of someone special to you due to COVID-19. However, as we experience the negative outcomes of these times, I am reminded of a verse from a poem titled, In a Dark Time, authored by American poet, Theodore Rothke, in which the first verse is as follows. In a dark time, the eye begins to see. As an old adage go, the, the only thing that stays the same is everything changes. We are amidst a global pandemic, 
But if it weren't this, it would eventually be another event or force necessitating that we adapt to change. I recently read an article of a 102-year-old woman originally from Iowa who put the coronavirus into some perspective for all of us as she reflected on challenges of her own lifetime. The Spanish flu of 1918, the Great Depression, a delayed wedding due to World War II, and of course all the other things we all experience over a long life. However, I am also reminded that we are given the gift of constancy and assurance that in the words of Hebrews 13.8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. While there is much discussion today in the United States about the relative value of a college degree, there is statistical proof that each of you have achieved something that will positively impact your quality of life, your earning capacity, and the ability to navigate an increasingly complex world. And even more important than that, you will have the great honor to help subsequent generations navigate this complexity. Students, over the course of your academic endeavors at the University of Sioux Falls, you've had the opportunity to pursue your intellectual curiosity and enhance your creative thinking and your problem solving and improve your ability to communicate and many more. And by the way, these all happen to be critical skills necessary for adapting to change just as we are doing at this very moment. This is why the faculty have strived so hard to teach you how to think rather than what to think. You've also learned other life lessons related to self-discipline, the value of perseverance, accepting diverse thinking on topics, working in community, and many more important skills. And all of this has been done within the safe confines of the University of Sioux Falls, a Christian liberal arts community fully committed to your success. We know from our own experiences the commencement is an emotional time, even absent the additional considerations of the pandemic we find ourselves in today. You're pleased to be done and proud of your accomplishments, but sad to leave your friends and mentors, especially since you had to leave earlier than anticipated and move to more impersonal online instructional venues. Most who have had the experience of pursuing a college degree recognize it is one of the most meaningful times of your life where you find your passions and meet some of the most important people in your life, sometimes long-lasting, lifelong friends. And perhaps, maybe you're a bit anxious about what lies ahead on that great horizon, especially amidst the economic chaos brought on by this global health crisis. I can only hope that the pride you feel for this major life accomplishment of graduating is rivaled only by the nostalgia with which you remember this place and the special relationships you forged with professors and staff, and of course your fellow students as you pursued your common pursuit of a degree. Please know that our entire faculty and staff feel a sense of loss also in missing this important event, that being the ability to personally congratulate each of you and spend quality time with you and congratulate your families for their support in this very important endeavor in your life. I have one of the greatest jobs in the world to work with an extraordinarily dedicated group of professional faculty and staff and their passion for each of you and our students is second to none. Remain mindful of one thing as you think about graduation. It should not be reviewed or viewed as a reward for past accomplishments of the last few years as you pursued the degree but rather this is an obligation to the future as you walk out of the confines of USF with your diplomas. And may I add, there's a bright future because we know that better days are just beyond that great horizon when this pandemic is controlled. And to our graduates, their families and friends, thank you so much for being part of our USF faith and academic community. We consider all of you family. And although we know the virtual nature of our relationships in recent weeks has been difficult, I'm always reminded that friendship and love can overcome any geographical separation, no matter how distant. God bless and enjoy this special moment of celebration with your family and friends.
It is now my honor to recognize the recipient of the Faculty Honor Award that is selected by faculty members based on the criteria of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. The award is given to an outstanding senior at graduation. This year's Faculty Honor Award recipient is Emily Wazorek. Emily is a biology education and secondary education double major from Mount Vernon, South Dakota. She is graduating from the University of Sioux Falls with magna cum laude honors. Emily truly embodies USF's motto of culture for service, not only on campus, but across the world. As eager as she is to serve our own student body, and she does, with a passion and tenacity that is second to none, her commitment to the faith integrated leadership is evident in her passion for serving others in developing countries um, as they grow in their own ability to educate, farm, and heal, both physically and spiritually. She has traveled to Uganda with As One Ministries to serve, and though her plans to travel there again this summer have changed, she is still determined to go wherever she is needed and to show Christ's love to everyone she meets. Emily has served the USF community on student government, most recently as student body president. She has served as a resident assistant, a tutor for the biology department, and has been the recipient of numerous awards and honors during her time at USF, including a Purple Feather Award, the Nelson Women in Leadership Award, and she has been named one of two outstanding biology seniors in this year's graduating class. Emily is an example of servant leadership and makes us proud to give her this award. Congratulations, Emily. It's hard to say goodbye uh, this way because we have traditionally always been able to shake everyone's hand and give them a diploma and also give them something else. Uh, many of you are familiar with the tradition that we have at the University of Sioux Falls that after you receive your diploma you walk across the stage and I hand each graduate a towel, a small purple towel with USF logo on it that is symbolic of Jesus' commission to all uh, people to uh, be servants, servant leaders. On our campus we have the Divine Servant Statue where Jesus uh, is washing the feet of Peter and uh, the, John 13 tells us that after he did this, he wiped their feet, and then he said, I gave you an example that you should go and do likewise. So we give you the towel today as a symbol of your call to go forth and serve. Uh, yes, you've achieved a great honor, and we commend you with that, but we also want to say and remind you that with every great calling comes a moral obligation to have a service ethic. And that's why our school motto of culture for service is so important to us. So we give you this towel today as a symbol of our commitment to you and also as a reminder of the priorities to which God is calling you. With that in mind, let's bow in prayer. Eternal God, we thank you for each graduate. Thank you for the work that they have done to achieve this. We think of family and friends that stood with them and supported them in this movement. And we pray, Lord, that you would help them in the next step of life. These are difficult times, Lord, and we look to you each day for guidance and provision. But we are still confident that just as you have seen us through to this point in history, you will see us into the future. So with one step at a time and one step of faith at a time, we give you this day we give you the rest of our lives, and we thank you for this moment that we share with these graduates in blessing them and sending them on their journey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Congratulations. 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 Blessings on your future. Congratulations. 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 You did it. Congratulations. Congratulations. So proud of you. Congratulations to you as you reach this important milestone in your life. I'm so very proud of you. Congratulations. Felicidades. Estoy muy orgullosa de ti. Congratulations. Congratulations and well done. Congratulations. Go share your awesome with the world. Congratulations. You made it. Oh yeah, we're not supposed to shake hands. Okay, elbow bump. 
congratulations on a truly historic accomplishment. Congratulations, class of 2020. Be proud of your accomplishments. I am. Great job, well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, seniors, you did it. Stay in touch with it. Congratulations on such a wonderful achievement. Congratulations. Looking forward to watching you do great things in this world. Congratulations, you did it. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, USF. Congratulations, graduate. Congratulations, colleagues, on your great achievement. We're so proud of each and every one of you. We pray this day that you would find peace and joy, and that God would walk with you all the days of your life. Congratulations. It's a joy to congratulate you on your graduation. I wish I could do it in person. God bless you as you go out and serve him. Congratulations, class. We are so proud of you. Congratulations, graduates. We love you. We miss you. We're so proud of you. Uh, we pray that you'll go out and serve your fellow man with great love. Please keep in touch. Uh, we will miss you. We will remember you. And so make sure you let us know how you're doing. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations. Now go out there and make the world a better place. 